Welcome to this episode. I want to kick this off with a question for you. And that is, have you ever felt that your achievements weren't deserved or that you were going down the path of pursuing a goal only to think, well, people may not think that I'm talented enough or they don't think that I deserve this or that I'm not good enough to achieve what I'm setting out to achieve. Congratulations. If you felt this way, you are now amongst three fourths of the country that has felt imposter syndrome at some point in their life. I myself have battled it numerous times and it has prevented me from pursuing some goals and it has stopped me short of achieving others. What I want to do today is give you three ways that imposter syndrome can actually work in your benefit. Normally, it's incredibly debilitating to pursuing happiness and pursuing achievements and goals. But this is where I'm going to give you the tools to flip it on its head and become more advantageous and help build momentum towards your goals and help guide you along that path to success. So the first instance where you can use imposter syndrome to your benefit is when you start thinking about a goal, even before you start pursuing it. If you start planning or think about a goal that you want to achieve and that voice starts creeping in, that is actually a good sign. I have yet to have imposter syndrome creep up when I'm pouring a bowl of cereal or when I'm brushing my teeth, because those are basic, simple things. It's when I plan something big or I have a big aspiration or something long-term that I want to achieve. That's when imposter syndrome creeps in on the front end and says, maybe this isn't the thing for you, or maybe you're not talented enough for this. That indicates to you that you are doing the right thing because you're choosing something to grow, you're choosing something to pursue that is big, and you're choosing to stretch and challenge yourself. The second way you can use imposter syndrome to your benefit is when that voice does creep in, whether it's pre-planning, whether it's getting started in, in whatever the goal you're trying to achieve or you're down the path, that voice will creep in and it says certain things. We tend to just let it talk to us and it downplays our efforts, it downplays our momentum, it downplays our talents. But when that voice creeps in, pay close attention to what you're saying to yourself because what will happen is that it will give you indications of things that you maybe need to strengthen a little bit, as opposed to saying you're not smart enough to talk about this, or you don't know enough about this topic to talk about this, or maybe you're not talented enough to, to go apply for that job. In that message are hidden gems of opportunity. Take that statement, flip it on its head, and start looking for the areas that you maybe need to strengthen a little bit, maybe some research you can do, maybe some self-learning that you can do. So it's not that you can't do it, just you can't do it yet. So the third way that you can use imposter syndrome to your benefit is during the path to achievement and going down the path to your goal. So if you imagine it like a road or a path and all of a sudden you come to a fork in the road, if you go the right way, you're going to hear the imposter syndrome voice because the imposter syndrome voice is that negative force inside of you that does not wanna see you achieve that does not want to see you succeed, and that does not want you at your full potential because negative forces are afraid of positive affirmation. But if you're going down the wrong path, if you're going to pursue something that is off the beaten path of what you're trying to do or what you need to be doing, you're not going to hear that voice creep up because the negative voice doesn't want to get in the way of you going the wrong direction. So when you hear that voice creep up, it is the indication that you're going the right way, that you're going the right path and that the voice will get louder as you get closer to achieving the goal. Because again, that negative force inside of you, that negative force in the world does not want you to achieve what you're setting out to achieve. Smile, wave, keep going on that path because that negative voice needs to be left behind. And there you have it, three easy ways that you could take imposter syndrome, flip it on its head and use it to your advantage. Keep going down the path that you wanna pursue. Use these and remind yourself of these as you go along or even as you start setting up the path to get to your goal because you need to challenge yourself. You need to grow and you need to have fantastic experiences because you don't wanna to get to the end of your days and say, God, I wish I would have done this, but I talked myself out of it. Leverage these tips keep going down the path, believe in yourself because I believe in you and you're surrounded by support. So keep going, smile and wave at that voice on the way by.